Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to whitelist IP address of your Azure function. Basically, if you want to restrict your Azure function from a particular IP, how to whitelist that IP that we will see it here. So sometimes if you want to secure your Azure function or if you want to restrict your Azure function accessing uh, from a particular IP that how we are going to implement it we will see that in as part of this particular demo what you will do is we will use Azure portal to do this uh, complete uh, activity like we are going to configure the whitelist of a particular IP for a specific Azure function that we are going to see it now. So let's uh, start with a demo without making any delay. So for that, what I'll do is I will navigate to Azure portal. Let me navigate to Azure portal. You can able to see here I have already logged into Azure portal here. And I, what I'll do is let me navigate to uh, the Azure function where I'm going to implement this uh, whitelist stuff. So let me click on the app services and you can able to see here this is one of the Azure function that I have created already. For that I am going to implement uh, this functionality. Let's click on this uh, function app. The moment you will click on the function app, you will see the complete details. From the left navigation, just click on the networking option which is under this settings tab, right? So click on the networking option and then you can able to see here in the inbound traffic option, under that you can see here access restrictions which is currently off. So you have to click on that particular link so networking, then access restrictions link. Just click on that. The moment you will click on that, you will see this add button, right? The rule site access and rules. You have to basically we have to add a new rule here, right? Where we are going to mention that don't allow this particular IP. Just click on the add and give a name for the rule i will say rule one then priority you have to set i'll make it 100 description is optional if you want you can put a description so i'll leave now i'm not going to keep anything on the description now and then the type make sure to select this ipv4 or any other IP also you can select IPv6 and all. So select IPv4 here and here IP address block. So this option is quite important. Here only you have to mention what is the IP address that you want to block it here to access this particular Azure function, right? So specify that IP. What I'll do is let me take I'll go to command prompt and I'll take the IP of my machine IP config. You can able to see here this is the IP B4 address for me. I'll just copy that and uh, I'll put it here just to show you that uh, we were not we are not going to access this particular function from my system itself. So let me cl click on the R rule. The moment you will click on the R rule, the rule will be added here. You can able to see here. This is the rule that has been added now. And don't forget to click on the save button, which is quite important. It will add the rule and you are not going to save it. So it is not going to work uh, for you, right? It is not going to work for you. So make sure after adding this rule, click on the save button and then just to confirm, you click on the continue button. 
the moment you will click on the continue button it will, it will take just a second and will show you the update access restrictions has been updated successfully and uh, now what you'll do is so now we are done with all the steps let me try to you know access that particular azure function from my machine right just click on the app service again click here and now you will see the url of this particular azure function this is the url right so just click on that you can able to see here what it is telling us that the web app you have attempted to read has blocked your access so this is how you can able to restrict one particular ip address to access your azure function that's it for today i thought to show you how to whitelist any ip address for your azure function uh, to secure it if you want to secure your azure function and if you want to restrict the Azure function to access from a specific IP address, you can do it in this way. That's it for today. And if you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on different Azure articles. Along with that, you will also find different helpful Azure PowerShell commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye bye.